Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about a new journey I have been starting. Um, I am on a journey for um, self-help, mentally, physically, emotionally, financially. I'm trying to get myself together. So at the beginning of the year, I started exercising five days a week um, since January. And two weeks ago, I included a pediment. I want to gain weight, but I don't want to gain weight just in my ass. I want it you know, over my whole entire body. I want to fill out my clothes a little better. My starting weight was 116, and I am now 122 pounds, um, just with the two-week span. The first week is when I gained the most. I was 121, and this week I'm 122. I feel like because my body have... Um, was not used to the intake of vitamins that I was taking from the pediment and I was eating like crazy. Um, some of the symptoms that people talk about are true. The first one, well, first let me get started by going over where I got it from. I got it from an African shop where I'm at in Alabama, Huntsville. I will put the address or the name of the grocery store that I went to. So if you don't want to buy it online, you want it like right now, try to call some African grocery stores in your area and ask them, do they have a pediment? When I got on the phone with her, she was like, oh, I'm going to have it at a cheap deal. It was only $15.99 and online is ranged from $17.99 to $19.99. So I got two bottles. I am currently on the second bottle it says that you're supposed to take 10 milliliters three times a day i cannot and i will not do it um i can only take 10 milliliters in the morning and at night when i first took this medication for like the first four days it does make you extremely drowsy like you be really 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 sleepy like if you're a person like me i'm a full-time student and i work full-time um, this can make you extremely drowsy, but not to the point that like a lot of people are like, oh, I'm so sleepy. I'm going to fall straight to sleep. I didn't get that feeling. I was just really, really drowsy and it ended up wearing off. But um, yeah, it does make you really, really drowsy. It does make you really bloated. Like my stomach was like fat and I like had gas and stuff. I don't know why, but for the first couple of weeks, my stomach was bloated and I had a lot of gas. I don't know where that came from, but yeah i did experience bloating in the stomach but that went away and now i'm not gassy or i'm not drowsy when i take it or anything like that but in the beginning yes you do have some side effects when i first got the bottle um it does come about this full to like right here so don't think when you get the whole entire bottle the whole entire thing is going to be full just for this um amount when you drink it it tastes like and citrus orange scene cough syrup but it's not i don't know it doesn't bother me it just tastes like a citrusy orange taste but it's not like oh my god it's so disgusting it just tastes like cough syrup if you know what cough syrup tastes like that's just what it tastes like um also to help me gain weight i have been taking The soup, the serious mass, high protein weight gain in powder. Two scoops of this is 1,250 calories. Now, I'm a, I have a fast metabolism and the impediment slows down your metabolism. So I eat in the morning, I eat at night, and I drink the shake in the evening. Um... I am not a person, sometimes I end up skipping meals because how busy my schedule is. So if I know I'm going to be skipping a meal, I only drink one um, scoop, which is about 625 calories and probably eat two granola bars with that. That's hitting 800. Eat, um, buy me some lunch, buy me some dinner. Well, make me some lunch, but I'm not really a... But I have been slipping up though. I've been eating super unhealthy. Um, I really have a plant-based diet and I usually sometimes eat shrimp, crab legs, lobster. But right now I'm not eating chicken. I'm not eating beef. I'm not eating pork. And I really want to keep it up like that and eventually stop eating seafood. But I absolutely adore seafood. So I do try to eat it sparingly. I don't try to eat it all the time. So I, once a week, I will try to eat, um, have, incorporate seafood into my diet if I can do it once a week. But, um, yeah, but I've really been slipping up. I really have an addiction to 
egg McMuffins from McDonald's with two hash browns and a medium orange juice. I have been eating that literally like every day and that sounds so bad and I feel so bad. So I'm going to detox, you know, to get it out of my body. But it's so good. Um, so I have been eating kind of unhealthy. Well, it's not really unhealthy because I'm not eating meat. I'll try to go with the healthiest off the menu, but you get what I'm saying. It's not the best. So I did start back eating, uh, making my own food at home, and I'm going to stick to that. But, yeah, um, I will include a video to show you guys what I weigh now. It's been two weeks. I'm 122 pounds. My goal is to reach 135 pounds, probably 140, depending on how I look and I feel when I'm 135 because my goal, my plan is to gain the weight, but to gain the weight and muscle. So that's why I'm in the gym five days a week because I don't want it to be fat or flop. I want it to actually be muscle and nice and toned. So yeah, that's the plan and I want you guys to be a part of this journey with me. So like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Bye!